Hello and welcome to this uh, IT Kitchen. Um, CCS Libraries have provided us with a, a Mindstorms Lego kit. But I wanted to talk about the difference between programming and coding. Now, coding really just following instructions, transcribing to a different form maybe. Um, so following the instructions to build the, the, the kit. So this, uh, this is a basic build kit which I followed the instructions um, to make this. But I wanted to explore an idea of building a robot for some one of a better word called tangible programming, a way of programming things without um, resorting to uh, keyboard, computer and stuff like that, maybe for children to, uh, to learn. So instead of just commanding, sort of talk about programming as a way of problem solving and discovery. So I built this um, on the idea of uh, psychology, early psychology of, as you might call, programming or training animals, if you like. So. I've called this Pavlov, and it's got three modes. I've programmed it for three modes. There's uh, a discovery mode, find out what stimulates Pavlov. Um, then there's the training mode, which you can program Pavlov with the things you've discovered that he can do. And then the perform mode, or if you like in programming, execute. But I'm not going to execute Pavlov. Um, so here we go. I'm going to put him into um, the discovery mode, and uh, I'm going to see what the colours of the... Well, it's not a bone. Obviously, this is Pavlov 2. Next version of Pavlov, hopefully, will make him look more like a dog and uh, maybe make this look more like a bone or something. Okay, so here we go. Uh, press the up button for discovery, and he's ready. So I'm going to say, what screen do? I think I can guess. Takes a while. Okay, green makes him go forward. Red. Ah, you guessed it. Red makes him go back. Blue. He makes him turn left. And yellow. That makes him turn right. Okay, so I'll write them down. Green. Forward. Red. Backward. Blue, left, yellow, right. So I'm just going to add more bits to that, um, more sensors. It does more colours. I've only got four there. And we could do more, more things with that. Um, and of course I could mix them up a little bit. So that's the end of the discovery. I know what he can do. Now let's see if I can train him or program him to do something. So if I take this apple, let's see, I want to try and make him go round the apple. Okay, so really I've got to make him go forward. So green, show him green. Um, and then turn left, which is blue. Left. And then go, so it's going to go forward turn forward that's green it's got to turn again that's blue left and then forward and I could continue maybe uh, and green forward okay so that's my program to make him end up sort of doing a u-turn as it were um, and then later on we could get into you know repetition to make him go round and round and round for example. So let's get him into position and let's program him. Let's see if we can make him go round the apple speaking in his language with the colours. Program mode, training mode, let's see how we go. Green to go forward. Okay I think it got that. Let's uh, make him go forward again. He's sniffing the green. Okay. Let's make him turn left. Blue. Let's make him go forward. Let's make him turn left. Let's make him go forward. Green. And green. That should do it. Let's go. Okay, 
All right, so the next thing to do is make, um, try and make some loops, try and make some the, the rabbit look more like a dog.